Welcome back to A Stoic Plays, ladies and gentlemen, for our third and final installment in our A Stoically playing of The Last Federation by Arkin Games, which is, again, a political space simulator where you have to balance the needs and wants of these races in order to cause them to come together in harmony and form a federation. And right now I'm doing a pretty bad job at it. A few of the races like me quite a bit, but the... Acutions, despite me trying to improve my standing with them, hate me at negative 96. And I think negative 100 is the point of no return where they just absolutely hate you. What I'm going to try to do is I'm going to... Let's see. I thought I had prisoners I could give to them. But it looks like I don't. So I could do a paid dispatch to help them. I don't suppose it would hurt to help them with their law enforcement. And the, just so you see, this little pink things on the bottom represent their war going on. It goes up and down as they win and lose battles with the Thorlaxians. Their economy is in the toilet. And my influence is slowly moving up. Their medical is bad. That's funny how their economy is so bad when they're the corporate robotic CEOs. Their public order is great, however, because I'm helping them with policing actions. Let's stop that. Because there's an awesome public order. Well, he still mistrust me. It's not enough that I completely help them. Let's provide medical assistance. Get us up to negative 80, at least. Okay. Now they're where is their... Is this medicine? Yeah, spectacular. Their economy is getting slightly better. Acution Factory. How are the Thor Thorlaxians doing? Let's see if we can't... Racial Power Grid. Alright, so... Right now... No. Alright, right now, I guess it won't let me sort by the topic that I care about. But right now, the strongest space power is the Skylaxian. No. The Burlusts. No. The Boring. I wish it would let me just sort it. Ground power is definitely the Burlusts. Holy crap, they completely outclass everyone here except for the, the Laxians. But even they outclass them as well. Total population, as you can see... I am the last Hydral, so my total population is 1. The Acutians are only at 73 million, while, as you can see, the... These guys here, the Skylaxians, are almost at 7.5 billion. Only 2 million of the Evux. Screw you guys, Evux. You're the ones who blew up my planet. So everybody has one planet. The Acutians have two outposts. Of course, one of them is my destroyed planet. And one manufacturing outpost. They're in a war with the Burlusts and the Thorlaxians. Burlusts. What's your relationship towards me? I don't know. Alright, so you can see here that the Acutians are well ahead of the science. Except for the Skylaxians. Ship multiplier for the player is multiplied against the player's hull health okay so yeah we don't want to get in a tangle with the Cushions. they have strong ships all right it's going to take a while for them to not hate my guts we could easily however get the burlusts to like us so let's do that let's hire a diplomat first of all What can we do here? Cooperative research. I don't know if I want to do that. I could work a space outpost cooperative development. Help raid pirate convoy for loot. Well, they won't do that for me, though. Improve local environment. Let's do that. These guys seem like the kind of guys who would want their environment to be improved. Okay. 
And now, let's help with local law enforcement. And we are now in the positive with them. Okay. So now that we are at the positive with them, the burlesques like us more, the Acutians like us slightly less, and the Andors and Thorlaxians like us very, very slightly less, though, so it wasn't really harmful. Now let's go... Oh, let's get another Hydral Technology. Wow, I'm very destructive. Let's see if we can't get rid of these missiles. They seem pretty fragile. Come on, guys. Follow me. should be fine. Even at my slow speed, they're not really able to do much harm to me. One of the missile launchers is running away. Not anymore. Alright, excellent. Let's head down here and do our thing. Or press zero to stay put. No? Is that O instead? Q? Okay. I guess that's how we do it. Done. Alright, we gained a ton of stuff. Oh, and now they're letting us know that tutorial is finally over and oh not completely over but now they're giving me notifications so now on the side of the screen we have all these notifications of stuff that's going on I'm going to get rid of all of them though because it's stuff that's already happened I kind of wish they'd give you this from the beginning like I said I'm sure there's some way to turn off the tutorial but I just don't know how to do it alright military production slow down Interesting. How are the Andors doing? They seem to be doing okay. Their economy is mediocre and their medicine is mediocre. We're going to help with that. Do I have any technology that you might like? Ooh, fiber optics. All yours, buddy. How about provide medical assistance? Okay, let's get that up to, what, 200? Okay. And they're building factories and science research places. What's going on while I was away? I gifted the tech, yep. New pirate convoy signal, EVUX. If you go to a planet and ask that race for assistance, you can track down the pirate freighters and destroy them. Maybe there'll be some useful loot. The EVUX. Where are they again? There they are. So now the Andors have awesome medical. They trust me now. The Burlusts don't. We're back to barely neutral. And the Thorlaxians lost a little bit of faith in me. I don't know why. Oh, they don't... Ooh, they don't have... Uh, Spacefaring tech yet. Sorry guys, we're not going to help you with that. Skylaxians. What do you guys need? Let's hire a diplomat, first of all. Help raid pirate convoy for loot. Heck yeah. That's one thing I don't like as pirates. And there they are. They appear to be heavily outnumbered. Let's fire my raptors. Put a bit more juice in the shields.
a lot more juice than the shields. Okay. Pink cloaking. These ships can still take damage now. Operation Wolf. Let's hit you with all kinds of stuff. I need to get out of here. My shields are having a little bit of trouble. Let's get rid of all of our weapon power and put what's left in shields and engines. The pirates are focusing on me. None of these are any good. At least I can use them to block their bullets for a bit. Alright. The cloaking field helped. Now my shield's back up. Put some strength in weapons here. They're my little buddy ships. these pirates. Let's take this guy out. Focus fire. These guys really like to focus on me. My shield's already running out. Dang it, these pirates are something else. Allies, what are you guys doing? Help me out. They're fleeing. just to get the shields up. I'm not capable of outrunning these guys. And they are just focusing on me. Let's lead them toward my allies. That seems to be working. My shield is recharging. Let's put him in range here. This is a difficult fight. I don't know if it's better to be faster or have better shielding. That'll help, though. Alright. Let's go back to my allies here. Their shields are down. Okay, let's focus on this guy. Got him! How do you like them apples? Got him! Holy moly, that was tense. And my allies are all gone. Lovely. Um, let's auto fire. Looks, however, like most of the tough troops are gone. I'm just cleaning up now. Done! Oh, wow, that was tense. That was tense. We almost did not survive that. The Skylaxians lost more power than the pirates. Sorry, guys. But I did rescue 11 pilots so I could get some 
Acquired Boer Forest Cocoa Bribe Item. That's cool. Oh, yeah, you can bribe people, too, which is always fun. Okay, so let's go see the Acutions. And let's... Free return of prisoners. All 11 of them. So now they simply mistrust me. That's good. Do I have anything... Sure, I can give you bomb shelters. Enjoy. They're building a lot of factories. Alright, so we got rid of the pirate convoy. We've re reduced... Re-searched. There we go. Researched. Some tech. Science outposts help races or you research technologies faster. Construct manufacturing outposts. Nanotubes have been researched through the normal scientific efforts. And bomb shelters been given. Cool. Let's see what the Peltians are up to. Oh! They're like little owl pigs. How cute. With their innocent outlook and pleasant demeanor, these barn owl like creatures are some of the easiest to get along with in the solar system. If they don't already have a grudge against you, that is. Getting them into the Federation early is one of the easiest ways to get the Federation started, but it can make the more warlike races scorn the Federation's weakness. I hold six voting proxies. Ilum will happily cash in any voting proxies you may have on its planet, but your proxies are no good to any other Peltian worlds that may exist. Cool. What can I do with you guys? Well, if you're peaceful, I want to help you build some ships to defend yourselves. Yes, I've never been so happy to see a bungle infection. The Theraxians have come down with a bad case of the buzz, and that'll keep them out of commission for a while. I don't care what you think about them. I've never liked those queens. <laughs> the computer, man. Computer kills me. The Theraxians just got a disease called the fuzz. A fungus that only affects the Theraxians. It causes massive deaths and workers as well as a complete halt to military activities. In combat, it causes their drones to very readily panic and abandon the battle. The Acutions Supercharged Space Station. Or the Burlesques do. Alright, well let's help the Thorlaxians. Peltians love me. Alright, what can I do here? I can provide medical assistance. I could gift you nano metallurgy. How about digital sentience? You'd like that, wouldn't you? The Acutians would really upset be upset by that though, and so would the Ugh. Lame. Alright, we'll provide medical assistance to try to help you with the fuzz. Okay. Surplus uranium. I don't know what that means. New hydral signal. You've detected a signal that does not match the technology of any living race, but it does match yours. The borines. Alright, where are the borines? There they are. The Laxians are doing quite well now. The Acutians disapprove. Well, screw you guys. Let's see what the Borings look like. Oh, well. Haha, <laughs> what a handsome lad you are. A race of solitary quadrupeds, the Borings hardly seem poised to take over the solar stage. That said, in their own quiet way, they are extremely powerful. They are excessively logical. If their regents believe that the Federation is truly in their best interests, they will be a staunch ally. If they fear the Federation, Huh. I could bribe somebody. I don't know why I'd want to do that. Alright, Borings. I hear you have some hydro technology. Oh, but they don't like me. Shoot. How about we build a space outpost together? No? What are you bad at? Your economy. 
will assist with that. Awesome. Okay, they like me now. New quest! Freighter distress call. I can do that. That's cool. New hydro signal for the Acutians, too. Alright, let's take care of the quest first. Is there another quest? Blah, blah, blah. This will help me with them. Okay, do it. What do we got here? Those are our allies, the Boreans. Then we have Acutian pirates. Man, the Acutians suck. I hate those guys. Let's uh, lower the shields a bit to give us some weapon power. Lower the speed a bit to give us more weapon power. Done. There's not three of these guys all up in me, so I can focus on this guy. Oh yes, yeah, so when you use an ability, just so you know, you stop firing your weapon. Alright, we're down to no shields now. Lovely. Well, we got one of them. I guess I'm just trying to avoid their bullets as best I can. Doing an okay job. Shields are back online for the most part. And you are pretty much dead. These pirates are fast though, I'll tell you that. Shields back down again. Let's cloak. Okay, they're all my boring friends. Oh, they can fire. Good. Let's, let's hang out near them. All right. Send out some raptors and some wolves. Take that, pirate scum. Alright. A bit more weapons power, please. Got him. Who's left? Just a bunch of little guys? Oh no, it was this guy. target him specifically. Wow, we're not doing great, are we? And we're going to cloak again. And our shields are back. Excellent. Alright, who's left? It looks like, for the most part, we have them. Just a few little baby ships. Done. Hooray! Alright, finally, finally, before the end of the third episode, we finally get to look at the graphs. So that's good. I'll do that before I end the series. So... They gave me a ton of stuff. Uranium, terbium, cesium, molybdenum, a whole bunch of different... I guess they're all minerals, or... What would you call it? Um, substances. <laughs> Our influence is good. We gained some money. So now we can look at the graphs. So this is the effective power of each race's armada. You can also do base power, and you can do just a number of armadas total. As you can see here, the Andor 
had up to 17 armadas, and they've slowly been whittled down by one thing or another. Right now, it appears the winner is the Skylaxians, but it doesn't necessarily say their power. Right now, the Acutians have the most power, followed by the Skylaxians. The Peltians, poor little owl pigs that they are, are having a pretty rough go of it. Also, there's population, in case you're interested in that kind of thing. Also, ground troops power, so the Burlusts are killing it. You can think of how many buildings they have, outposts. And you measure all of this data while playing the game to influence how you help each nation against the other. Obviously, this is a long game. I've done three episodes, and we have just barely scratched the surface. We're not even close to even inviting someone into the Federation. Barely the races don't even like me all that much. So as you can see, you can play this for hours and hours and hours. You just got to constantly weigh the benefits and costs of every action and whether it's better to be friends with. Like right now, it looks like if I were to want to start the Federation in this game, I would have to focus on these guys and basically just destroy the Acutians or, or influence the other races to declare war on them and destroy them themselves because obviously I'm not going to have a very easy time forming the Federation while they very nearly loathe me. But in this, in this particular game, those are the only ones that do. These guys are still kind of neutral with me. So I could, for example, right now, build up my relations with all of these guys and try to influence them one way or another to declare war on the Cushions. And I can take direct military action. One thing I did not show you in this series is hostile acts that you can take. More tutorial. So I could attack their space forces or I can capture their science outpost. And there's obviously more hostile actions that develop as things go on. So I hope in some way this has given you kind of an idea of what kind of game this is and how it works. It's incredibly complex and deep. I'm definitely going to be spending a lot of time with it to try to figure out more of the nuances myself. I think this is a great game to do a Google search actually for like a guide to just help with things because it's so much information coming at you that you really need to understand. Again, it's very similar to Crusader Kings or Europa Universalis where there's so many different things going on under the hood that it seems a bit intimidating at first, but once you understand it, it's a real, real lot of fun. So thank you so much for watching. Once again, I am Marcus Aurelius. This is The Last Federation by Arkham Games. Have a good one.